Hi, in this particular video, we're gonna be doing reflections of shapes, which is where we take a shape on an XY grid and we reflect it in a particular line. Um, if you're not sure about any of these, please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the video. You will need to follow the link just below in the description, download the worksheet and have a go at each of the questions. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Hi, in this particular video we're going to look at reflections on XY grids. It forms part of the playlist where we're looking at transformations. So in this particular one, um, it says describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto shape B. Please do download the worksheet and have a go at this question for yourself. Okay, so hopefully you can see that it is a reflection. Okay. And the other things we need to find out the mirror line or where it's reflected. So let's have a look at this particular point, which is A, and it's going to be reflected and end up here. OK, so it's going to reflect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in other words, uh, halfway along, it means that this one is the mirror line. OK, so it's a reflection in the x axis okay hopefully that was all right for you it's just a matter with these of finding where the actual mirror line is okay so let's have a look at the next one it says then reflect a in the line x equals minus one well we've got to figure out where x equals minus one is so what you can do is you can say well i'm just going to pick a random coordinate where x is minus one and let's say y is two OK, or X is minus one and Y is, let's say, eight. OK, it doesn't really matter. We can plot both of those. So minus one and two is going to be here and minus one and eight is going to be here. So actually, when I join those two points up, what I've got is the line X equals minus one, which in this particular case now is the mirror line. OK, so let's have a look at uh, how that would work. So if I look at this point here, it's only gone one jump to go to that point. OK, so there it is. So A to A prime. This is B, one jump round the other side, another jump. OK, this one's a little bit trickier. It's gone one, two, three, four uh, units or jumps. OK, I'm going to go for the other side, the mirror line. One, two, three, four. There it is. So that's going to be C prime. OK, so when I join all of those together, what I'm going to get is a reflection in the line Y equals minus one. Now, hopefully you can see this on the screen. You probably need to use a sharp pencil. Pencil. I tend to use this kind of green pen. It sort of works for me and it hopefully will give you some good contrast on the video itself. OK. OK, so on to question number three and it says reflect A and this is going to be A, OK, in the line Y equals X. All right. Well, the line Y equals X is where the coordinates of X and the coordinates of Y are exactly the same. So I can actually just do a little few dots. So X is 10. So Y must be 10. OK, or X is minus 10 and Y must be minus 10 as well. So what we've actually got is a line which looks like this. Now, hopefully you can see this OK on the video, but I'm just going to draw this line in. OK, and this is the line Y equals X. OK, so let's have a look then at what shape A will look like. So we're going to reflect it. Well, this point here, I'm not going to move at all because it's actually touching the mirror line. So that's fine. Let's have a look then at the other two points. So I've got this one here. Um, now, if I call that B, if I draw a little sort of guideline across like this, OK, if you look at closely at the video, hopefully you'll be able to see that I've gone one and a half diagonals to the mirror line. So I'm going to go a half and one diagonal and that will give me 
B prime. Okay, let's have a look then at the final one, which is going to be this one over here. Okay, and I'm just going to draw this again. Okay, just an extension. It just kind of helps me thinking really a little bit through it. Okay, now this particular one, hopefully you can see that I've gone three diagonals. One, two, three diagonals. So I'm going to go one, to three diagonals and it's going to go to this point which is going to be c prime so let's have a look then if i join all of those up what i should have is a nice reflection that looks like that now from an examiner point of view they don't really mind if you've got these guidelines in place so don't worry about it you don't please don't rub them out actually it's always better to show you working so just leave them um, and you will get that credit for showing your uh, your lines of enlargement your, your mirror lines as well okay let's have a look then at question number four and it says reflect shape a in the line one y equals six. Okay, so we need to know where y equals six is. So again, you can just do a couple of coordinates if you want to. So when x is one, y is six. Okay, when x is, let's say, minus two, y is also six. Okay, so let's just plot those two coordinates. I've got one and six is going to be here. And then I've got uh, minus two and six is going to be here. So this is slightly difficult or slightly tricky, but basically my mirror line is actually going to be along like this okay so this is where y equals six all right so it's going to be a quite an interesting shape but let's see what what we do so we've got this point here okay well that's going to be reflected in the mirror line two units so that's going to go to here okay so this is a to a prime okay this unit is uh, b and that's going to go three units one two three OK, so there we are, B prime. OK, so I've got a line now that I might as well draw in. It just hopefully you'll be able to see that I've got now my line is like that. OK, so let's have a look at this point over here. Well, again, it's going to be two units. There we are. There's the two. So I've gone from C to C prime. OK, and this one is D and that's going to be three units, and there it is, okay. All right, so let's just join all of those uh, points up. So I've got uh, B to D along here, okay. I've also got A to C along here, okay. And then I've also got this line along here, which is this one here. OK, and there we go. That is actually the reflection of shape A. So a little bit more challenging right at the very end there, but I hope it's been useful to you. Please do stop the, stop the video if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.